President Bush, we have a moral decision to make, so we turn to you, the leader of our country. Fine. Good. Happy to help. What's the situation? We work at a fertility clinic where we've helped thousands of families have babies, and some of those families have decided not to have any more children. So we don't know what to do with the fertilized eggs that will never be used. Oh. Can I see one? Where are they? They're in these cryo vials right here at the end. But, sir, you would really need a microscope to actually see the eggs. Oh, I get it. Well, what are the choices? What do you usually do with them? Well, some are donated to infertile couples. There aren't very many people that need that, but that's always the first option. The rest are either thrown into these biohazard bags and will just thrown away, or they can be designated for stem cell research and used to find treatments and cures for cancer, diabetes, and Parkinson's, and more. So what should we do? Uh, throw them away. But, Mr. President, this is the first time in human history where scientists have had access to every single cell in the human body. These cells could save millions of lives, and we're just throwing them in the trash. Well, I believe in the sanctity of life. Well, well that's great. So what do you think the moral thing to do is? Well, they're human lives, and that's sacred. Throw them in the trash. But, Mr. President, you make an exception in the case of rape or incest. Maybe you could make an exception here. It could help people who are really suffering. No, it just doesn't seem right to me. Throw them in the trash. Mr. President, right now, stem cell research is going on all over the world. If they found a cure for diabetes in a foreign country, would you let Americans use it? No. Uh, well, uh, maybe. Where'd you say it was from? Is it France? Well, we don't know yet, sir. Would it be England? It could be. England would be fine, just so long as it's not us. Just so long as we're not the leaders and innovators of any stem cell cures that can save millions of lives. That's not what I'm about. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. My pleasure. Keep up the good work. We wish we could, sir. Goodbye, Mr. President. Save me now, save me now, save me now. Save me now, save me now. Save me now, save me now. Come on in. Save me now, save me now. Save me now.